Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I got one. Pour from me. It's good, doesn't it? Right, so first of all, welcome back to another video. I am Maximilian and I help people empower their lives through cooking. How I got here, I don't know to do it through cooking, but I'm going to empower your life either way. Oh, God. I forgot to record it. That's what happens when you start talking. Pour it back in. Right, so, soft raisin flour. Today's video is going to be lemon pancakes. Now, everyone, they eat lemons on their pack, they put lemon juice on their pancakes, but no one, I'm calling it, no one, ow, has put lemons into their pancakes. Have they? Well, it may be, I don't know. Maybe they have. So self-belief is so powerful. When you truly believe something's gonna happen, it's like if you wake up in the morning, you know the sun's gonna rise. That's not just belief, that's just a, a knowing. If you can get to a self-belief level of a knowing and you know that tomorrow the sun's gonna rise or one day you are going to be successful, you will get there, I guarantee you that. And you listen to any successful person and that's why my belief is so strong in myself because there's no other way that my life's gonna go. I say it's gonna go my way and the way that I say it, that's the only way it is gonna go. I've never actually cut open a lemon before, like this. So peel the skin of the lemon and chop it up. Obviously I'm gonna throw them in. Oh man, actually move the, oh man, oh man, oh man. I got one, that's poor from me. That was a very poor attempt, but, mmm, lemony. All right. Oh, Woo. nice. You can stay there for the minute. I've made a mess already. Shock. Get your almond milk and tip it in. Just remember, the key with pancakes, you can add anything to it. As long as the flour is thick enough, or the mix is thick enough, you don't. It doesn't matter what else is in it. You get your vanilla extract. A hint of vanilla extract. Some cinnamon and minimum, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. I am broken. There we go. There we go. To see, that's what we want to see. Let's make some pancakes. I love me pancakes. They taste, they're great. Not Greek, great. Where's the pancake? There we go. All right, let's get cooking. Already made such a mess just from throwing the lemons. They are very messy fruit. By the way, comment down below if there's any specific type of fruit you want me to put in a pancake. So I'm doing every type of fruit possible. Oh, look at that. Don't know how this is gonna taste. I mean, it should, it, theoretically it should work because you put lemon on pancakes anyway, so the taste is gonna be there without making a mess on the plate, I suppose. I'm, I'm logical. I'm chronological. I think I've realized I don't need to say put the oil in the pan. That's just sort of a given. Let's make some cakes. So self-belief, at the end of the day, you, what will happen in your life is what you believe. If you believe that you're not worth anything, you're never going to achieve anything, then you will never achieve anything. And this is something that I always say to people is you need to, but before you even try different techniques, different manifesting techniques, different strategies, whatever it is, before you start anything, you need the belief that it's going to happen. My belief has grown, but I started with, I will get what I want to get. When I was, when I failed, I was dis disheartened, discouraged quite a few times, but I always knew my long-term outcome would always manifest. And it still hasn't manifested, but I know it will. And that's where I'm at right now. I don't need it to manifest right now, but I know that it's going to manifest. Because I'm at that, at that level. Oh, this is looking tasty. Oh, it does look good. Very thick. That is what it needs to be. The key is making it as thick as possible so that it actually sets in the pan once it's oiled up. I'm going to give you a very great representation of self-belief. So, I have posted near on 200 videos on YouTube. I've posted over four, over 500, no, 
over 800 photos slash videos onto Instagram because I've got two different accounts. I've got three different accounts actually, so probably probably over a thousand pictures and or videos onto there. And am I just? I've only got on it on YouTube. Not I've not got many subscribers at all. And that comes down to because I've said to myself, I don't worry about it, but I have to change the content up. And that's why I'm trying to find different ways. And that's part of the learning curve. I'm here to find different ways. So pour the lemon pancakes into little mixes, into little cakes, pans, pan of cakes. So just use your senses. Now we live our life through our senses. Think back to a time when you had full belief in yourself. Just think back to a time. Maybe you were in a competition, maybe you were in a race, maybe you completed a bit of homework, maybe you did a bit of work really well, maybe maybe you, when you learned how to ride a bike, when you learned how to drive a car, you had full belief that it was going to happen. What, how did you represent it in a visual way? So maybe visualize it, have a, have a visualize right now, and was there a visual way of you doing it? Are there specific sounds that you, would, you were hearing when you were succeeding in the belief, and knowing that the belief was coming true? Or, were there more feelings towards it? Now that's how we live our life, through these three senses mainly. We do our five senses, obviously taste and smell, but these are our main senses that we use to portray and live our life. So think back to a time and really understand. Ooh, lemon pancakes! Part of the process. Flip the cakey boys! Ooh, 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 hello. Honey, I'm home. Mmm. Oh yeah, let's get it. So you think back to that time where you had full belief in yourself. How did you represent it? Because as soon as we start to change the connections in our mind, life changes, dramatic, literally like that, instantly. We still have to keep up with it, and I always recommend keeping up with it, but your life will change dramatically because you will see it from a different perspective. When you start seeing it from a different perspective, life has changed already. I think we're onto a winner here. I am excited to see how these taste. Use that time to think about it, think about it, think about exactly how it happened, what happened, how it made you feel, how it made you, what you could see, what you could hear, because we all, we're all different and we all represent, oh, looks like a little crumpet. Yeah, we all represent, we all represent it in a different way, slightly different. Some might be the same, some might be slightly different. But if you can figure out exactly the way that you represent it, you can change your life. And all you need to do is install yourself with the, with the noises, with this, the, what you were seeing, what you were feeling, install that when you don't have belief. Start to change the connection, start to change your life. Change what you're thinking, change what you're seeing, change what you're hearing and feeling, change your life. Very simple, simple as that. I don't know, I'm not even going to put anything on them, I don't think. I'm going to annoy some people with the way I eat this. <laughs> but this is the finished product, look how nice it looks. Looks good, doesn't it? That is lemon pancakes for you. So I hope you've learned something from this video about belief, understanding that if you start to change the connections that are in your mind, you will change your life. I hope this helps you, I hope you can keep spreading love, keep spreading positivity and have an absolutely amazing day.